Hello everyone, my name is Astha. I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 9th. This is our 25th class wherein we will be doing the topic of spoken and written expression. So spoken and written expression is going to be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. All you have to do is analyze the situation and choose which response will be suitable. You will be or uh, you will understand this better once we do the questions. All right, so let's get started. So what is our topic for the day? This means which topic are we going to study today after which you will be able to very easily handle the questions of IEO. Now today we are going to do spoken and written expression. Now spoken and written expression may hum kya karne wale hain that we will see on the next slide. Now spoken and written expression me this basically tests your communication skills, your expression skills. In which what do we have to do? We have to choose an appropriate response as per the situation. Which means there will be a situation given to you. There will be a dialogue given to you. There, uh, there might be some sort of question or some, some sort of a request, some sort of an order. And then there will be four options out of which you will have to choose which is the most appropriate response to that particular given question or scenario or scene. Alright, now this will be clearer to you once we start doing the questions. Yes, so we will understand the same with sample questions themselves. So now these sample questions, they will act as uh, more questions for you and also they will act as uh, they will act as a sort of act as sort of examples as well. So let's start with these sample questions themselves. All right, so now we will be starting off with the quiz and as and when we start doing the questions and we uh, take them one by one, you will not only understand the various examples, um, you will not only take them as various examples, but also understand how the appropriate response to various kinds of scenarios and various kinds of questions is exactly to be given. All right. So let's start. All right. So for the quiz, what we will be doing is now every question you will be given one minute. One minute means 60 seconds. Why am I giving you one minute? Because you see your question paper of IEO, it has about uh, 50 questions. And so you can uh, imagine that, you know, you get more or less a minute to answer the questions. Now this one minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question. Now suppose there could be two, three, two, three categories of students. First category is suppose you answer the question within that one minute. So I would request you to fast forward the video and uh, skip right to the answer. You should not be wasting your time. All right. Now the other students who are not able to answer the question in one minute, what you do, you don't skip to the answer. You pause the video and you write down your answer. All right, it is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking. Here you see for every incorrect answer, no points because there is no negative marking in IEO, so it is important that you attempt all the questions. Now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer, now even here and even in the exam, 
if you are not sure about the answer and you maybe think that b option is might be correct or c option might be correct so you should uh, in that case play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win win situation either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero right but if you don't attempt that question at all then you are anyway getting a zero in that right so it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers try to understand and take a guess okay so this is for every correct answer 10 points this is just for your uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad so here you write the name of the chapter and then the question and then if it is correct you can give yourself 10 points if it is not correct you mark it here so it is important to mark to see these questions the ones which you mark incorrect it is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake all right this is just for your reference for every correct answer you can give yourself 10 points all right now let's uh, start all right so now we start off the questions of spoken and written expression here what we have to do choose the best answer let's see you can borrow my car but please dash good care of it make good care of it do good care of it take good care of it or have good care of it pretty easy take good care of it taking good care of something which means uh, you know not being careless about it and making sure it is in the best of condition so take good care of it Okay, next up we have on a monday morning there's always heavy traffic on all dash to cannot place on all means on all paths on all ways or on all routes okay so here we are talking about uh, the various um, the various roads that go to cannot place there could be more than one right so here we talk we refer to it as routes on all routes to cannot place right
Okay, next up we have don't let your seniors bully you. You should stand yourself up. B, you should rather stand up for yourself. C, you should rather stand for yourself. Or D, you should rather stand yourself. Correct answer is you should rather stand up for yourself. You should rather stand up for yourself means you should, you know, take a stand and make sure no wrong is being done to you. Right, so you should rather stand up for yourself. I get a real kick out of reaching the school before anyone else. It means I get a kick on my backside on reaching the school. Or B, I get punishment for reaching the school before time. Or C, I very much enjoy reaching the school early. Or D, I receive a kick from those who reach the school late. Okay. Now getting a real kick out of something, which means this person really enjoys it. So I very much enjoy reaching the school early. All right. C. It does not mean literally this person gets kick when he reaches early. Okay. So your time starts now. Forty five seconds left. Thirty seconds left. Okay, next up we have Mahip was in the seventh heaven when he heard the news. It means Mahip was seven years old when he got the news. Or B, Mahip died of heart attack when he heard the news. Or C, Mahip was on the seventh floor of the building when he heard the news. Or D, Mahip was extremely happy when he got the news. Being on the seventh heaven means being really happy, being joyous. So D, Mahip was extremely happy when he got the news, all right?
Okay, next up we have I just feel so dashed. I have no money, no friends and nowhere to live. I just feel so homesick, so depressed, so shocked or so nervous. Now, since the second part says this person has no money, no friends and nowhere to live. So what could be uh, the appropriate response of appropriate uh, fill in appropriate fill in I, in the situation? No, uh, I just feel so depressed. Okay. Okay, this question says, are your uncle and aunt still here? Options are yes, they are. B, they are fine. C, it's okay, thanks. So D, we have a nice family. All right, so you see this person is asking a question. Are your uncle and aunt still, still here? This is a question being asked, a yes or no question. So yes, they are. A. The principal's message is loud and clear. It means A, the principal has expressed his views clearly and very definitely or B, the principal spoke in loud and clear voice. C, the principal has a very authoritative way of speaking or D, the principal is very arrogant. No, the correct answer is the principal's message is loud, quite loud and clear. It means the principal has expressed his views clearly and very definitely, right? Okay, now here we have try not to mention squint while here. While she's here, it's a sore spot for her. It means A, it is a subject which she avoids because it makes her feel embarrassed. 
B. She has bad sores. C. She has sore throat. D. She has a sore point which hurts her badly. Now, this is quite funny. How many interesting options they come up with? Uh, trying to confuse you, and if you know the correct answer, all these other options they are just going to going to just uh, seem funny to you. See, the correct answer is is be something being a sore spot, a sore spot. When something is a sore spot for someone, which means it is a subject which this person avoids because it makes them feel embarrassed. It doesn't mean that this person has bed sores or a sore throat or a sore point which hurts them badly. Okay. Okay, so here we have this one says, put the sentences of the following conversation in a proper order. Okay, let's read the conversation. A, how could he choose things so quickly? Then, but friend, my friend selected everything he needed very quickly. C, but his selections were fantastic. D, he has been in a marketing job for many years. Okay, so here he says, first of all, he would say. B. My friend selected everything he needed very quickly, but then contrasts it with saying, "But his selections were very fantastic." Then this person replies, "How could he choose things so quickly?" To which this person then gives the answer that he has been in a marketing job for many years. So the correct answer is B, C, A, D. Okay, and which one is correct here? C, B, C, A, D. All right. Okay, so with this we finish off our questions, spoken and written expression. All right, so that's all for our class on spoken and, and written expression. I hope you have understood how e how easy it really is going to be. It is just going to be the usage of your you know common sense, understanding which uh, which response from the options. can be cho can be uh, chosen in the in the scenario which you know best represents it all right so this was all for the spoken and written expression class and with this also we have finished all the conceptual classes the next class so we will be doing the achiever section of the sample paper so make sure you revise all the concepts before moving on to the next class because in the next class that is is going to be a mixed bag of questions all right so that's it from my side thank you for watching i will see you the next time